Welcome back, everyone. Valerie Pilata's son, Josh, served our country in Afghanistan. He came back a changed man. He struggled with PTSD and took his own life in 2014. Now, Valerie is honoring her son's memory by trying to help others. Such an honor to have you on the show. I so appreciate your joining us. Oh, thank you, Keith. Thanks Tell for me, having me. Yeah, you're welcome. Tell me a little bit about, about your son. You know, he was, um, he was pretty amazing. He, um, he really loved his country. He was very patriotic. Um, he had a determination when he wanted something, he went for it and he did it. Um, from the time he was a little boy trying to ride a bike and never gave up until he learned, learned in one day, to being in um, high school at Colchester High School and wanting to play lacrosse. And he did what he had to do to get the first Colchester Lacrosse Club there, which is now a, a division, a school sport, um, an official team sport. and. Um, he just really wanted to serve his country, and he did it. He joined, and he just did what he set his mind out to do. And you even said to him, you know, you are going to go to Afghanistan. And, I did. And he was okay with that. He, that's why he joined. He knew he was going to Afghanistan. He wanted to give back to our veterans and those who have served our country, and he felt that it was his duty, and that's why he joined. He came back a changed man. What was he like when he came back? You know, at first, he was okay. Um, it took a little while for him to really settle in with what he was going to do in life. Um, we didn't notice things right off. And then all of a sudden, as the years went on and time went on, he definitely changed. He was angrier. He wasn't sleeping. He was drinking more. Um, we had quite a few arguments. Um, he lost his job. He um, was going to school and he quit school. Um, so it was a real gradual thing for him. Um, and it was really hard to help and to pinpoint that part in his return when he really started to go downhill. He ended up taking his own life. And I don't think anyone would blame you if you decided you were going to stay at home and put the blinds down and never come out. You've taken a decidedly different approach. You are honoring your son. Why do it? I'm doing it because I have to. Um, I actually want nothing more than to stay home and cover up and do nothing. Um, but I owe it to my son because I couldn't help him then. Um, and I owe it to his brothers and sisters. Um, in arms. Uh, he was an only child, so when I say brothers and sisters, I mean those who are in the service, um, those veterans who were with him. Um, ever since he wanted to join the Guard, I made it my mission to support our veterans. And it's just morphed into something that's even more passionate in me. It's an ambitious undertaking. You are trying to open a home in his honor. What is your vision here? Whew, it is an ambition and it's very um, tedious and it's a lot of work and it's exhausting um, and I'm trying not to give up and every time I feel like I can't do this, I'll hear a story from a veteran who said, you don't know how this is impacting my life and how I'm fighting to go on. But we're trying to open up um, Josh's House Vermont, which will be a wellness recreation center for veterans when, when um, as you heard in the 30 last night, I was one of the chartering members of Blue Star Mothers of Vermont. And after Josh died, people knew who we were and just started donating money and wanted to help. So we really sat on the money and the donations and said, let's find out what our veterans are not getting. What do they want? What will help them? And a majority of them said, we just want a place to hang out. We just want a place to be together. Good luck with that effort. And I know I asked you if you had advice for a mom or dad of a veteran at home, and your advice was really simple. You said, love your kids. Love your kids. Love your kids, listen to your kids. Um, if you don't know, I, I don't know what the answer is. Everybody's different, whether you're a veteran or a non-veteran. Um, just love them and hug them. My son was the best hugger in the world. And um, if you can hug them, just keep doing it because you never know when it'll be your last chance. Such an honor to have you on the show. We appreciate your sharing your story and uh, Thanks, best of luck with the home. Thank you. All appreciate right. it. Eva.